Kipper Canteen in the Magic Kingdom is a relatively new restaurant at Disney. It takes its cues from the Jungle Cruise, which is located relatively close by. You'll even find that the waiters are called skippers and tell extremely funny jokes throughout the meal. It's a great place, and in today's video, I'm going to review the entire restaurant, from the food, the service, and even the price. Let's start off with the price, and Disney gives it a $2 symbol out of a possible four, meaning everything or just about everything should be below $34.99. Sure enough, I took a closer look at the menu. One of the more expensive items is Dr. Falls' signature grilled steak, which I will be getting back to. Definitely worth it, and it costs $35, so I'm going to give Skipper Canteen a seven when it comes to price, where 10 is the cheapest and one is the most expensive. Speaking of that steak, let's talk about food at Skipper Canteen. When we were there last, I tried the Dr. Falls signature grilled steak. It was incredible. The pepper, if you like pepper, like a, like a peppery, almost to a point where it's spicy, but the flavor is out of this world. This is up here with one of the best steaks I've ever had. And I, you know I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true, but this is amazing. Wow. If you have any doubts about Skipper Canteen, don't. Absolutely. Whoa, whoa. Yes. I've got to tell you, that steak was one of the best I have ever had. You know if you've been following along with me for a while that that does mean a lot considering that I have tried steaks all over the place including at Disneyland at the Blue Bayou, an amazing steak. This one competes directly with it. That is how good it is. It's a New York strip steak with pico de gallo butter. It is one of the best ever. I have no idea how they get it to taste that good. Jasmine rice and braised black beans with applewood smoked bacon. If you find yourself at Skipper Canteen, I cannot recommend this steak highly enough. So Skipper Canteen from me gets a 10 out of 10. It's tough to do that, it really is, but I loved every bite. I cannot wait to go back for the food. Now moving on to the service, and Skipper Canteen is definitely unique in this aspect. Just about everything around you in the restaurant has a story to tell, whether you're seeing a carpet on the wall or a fan in the ceiling, whatever it is, the servers are extremely talented at making you laugh during your meal and kind of sharing the adventure with you. It's a lot of fun. Now it's very different from the kind of funny service you'll find at 50's Primetime or Whispering Canyon. Here at Skipper or canteen, it's more of a joke about the food and the environment rather than a joke on you. Sounds pretty good. Have you ever been on the jungle cruise across the street? I have. Great, your experience here will be nothing like it. I'm just a skip, okay? Just, <laughs> just so you know, your chef's favorite dish is going to be your whole fried fish, which is going to be yellow tilled snapper. Okay. Definitely snaps to your attention. You just have to let me know when you're thin and for that wonderful fish. Got it. And for me personally, I do prefer this kind of joking where they joke about the environment and things around you and the food and just kind of a funny humor throughout the meal instead of directing the jokes right at you. It's a different style. You have to like what you like. For me, Skipper Canteen's humor was perfect. The service was great. I never waited long for anything. I've got to give it a 10 out of 10. Truly an incredible place. Great service. Many restaurants around Walt Disney World are exceptionally themed, but Skipper Canteen is rather unique. It feels like you've been on several Jungle Cruise adventures, and this is kind of like a compilation of a lot of different adventures and things that they've brought back from the adventures and souvenirs, things like that. It really adds to the story so much, and the servers play on the things in the restaurant to add to the humor. At Skipper Canteen, you may be seated in one of several different rooms inside the restaurant. During our most recent adventure, I was in the main dining room. It was just the slightest bit loud, not too loud, just a little bit, and I felt a little bit close to the guests who were sitting right next to me. So for those reasons, I'm giving Skipper Canteen an eight out of 10 for atmosphere. Still great, but just a little bit too tightly packed in there. That gives Skipper Canteen an overall very impressive 8.75 out of a possible 10. I've got to tell you, it definitely is deserving of that score, a hidden gem in the Magic Kingdom that I can't recommend highly enough. So what do you think about my rating? Too high, too low, or just right? Let me know right there in the poll. And if there's something else that you've tried at Skipper Canteen that you really recommend that we try together in the future, let me know in the comments. I'll be paying special attention so that in the future I can try something new that you love. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.